Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ulsil and today I'm going to do an update on my project pan. I'm so sorry about my voice. I am recovering from COVID so I was not able to do a video update on my partner sink cream project. I'm interested to actually see my progress this time because, because I haven't worn makeup in over a week. And I was traveling for over two weeks where I didn't have all of this Project Pan makeup with me. And since I did include 12 items last time, I and I have used up four items, I only will be rolling in two more makeup items this time. But um, I'm really excited that I managed to reach my goal on four of these items. And so we'll just take a look at the progress here. So first off, we have the Inglot powder, the Freedom System powder that I'm almost done with, but for me it takes forever to use up powders, and I just had a thin stripe around the rim left last time, and I have used up half of it. This is my progress. So what happened was it broke off, but I was able to crush it into the pan, so I just used it as a loose setting powder, basically, and that I, that's what I've been doing ever since, and um, now that I've used up all that powder, I'm going to just continue with the remaining. And I'm surprised that I was able to use up half of what was left from last time. Actually, because I only use setting powder mainly right underneath my eyes and just a tiny little bit. So I'm happy with the progress there. Then we have my sample perfume from Viva La Juicy. This is called Neon. I managed to finish this one. It was a very sweet... Um, nice summery perfume. It smell a little bit like um, lemon and grapefruit. I'm not able to smell it right now because I don't have any. I can't smell anything. <laughs> but I do remember it smelling very nice and sweet, but maybe a little bit too sweet for me. So it's not going to be something I will repurchase, but I'm happy that I was able to try it out. Then we have my Valpierre lipstick, which I've had in since my intro and I checked today it was no there's there was no point in me actually marking it again because there's basically no um progress this is what that looks like I think I've used it like maybe three times including today I have it on my cheeks and my lips today which is it's just not a lot but I'm not I'm not one to go for a red lipstick on an everyday basis, and especially not in the summertime, but I'm trying. I'm trying my best here. Then we have my Pro C blush, Pro Cosmetics blush in number 37. This is a really nice mineral blush that's super pigmented, and it just takes so little product each time, so it does take forever to use this up. I enjoy it. It's silky smooth, and I like the color, but it's almost a little bit hard to work with because it is so pigmented. But I'm just gonna keep on trying with this one. Another product I'm really happy with the progress with. I actually managed to finish this one as well. Um, this is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I, I've used this previously as a face primer, but this time around when I rolled it in, I decided I wanted to use it as straight up moisturizer. It wasn't my ideal moisturizer. I didn't feel like it um, gave me enough moisture because I have normal to dry skin. And I can tell you that after like five days probably without being able to do my normal skincare routine, I just simply washed my face with water and that was it. I could really tell that what I do with my skincare routine is actually helping my skin because my skin has been terrible. So it's only been the last two days that I've been back into, you know, doing my makeup and doing my skincare routine and it has really helped, but I'm still like recovering from that dryness and uh, yeah, it's just been awful. But, but, um, I think it was just a uh, reinsurance that it's I'm doing a good thing to my skin by having a good skincare routine. Anyways, I um, I like this product, but it's not going to be a repurchase. 
I don't love it as a moisturizer and I don't love it as a primer. I feel like it's just something I can throw on and it doesn't hurt, but it also doesn't really help too much. But I do have the same primer in tube form. So I will be working on that in the future, just not right now. But yeah, I'm happy I I managed to have yet another face primer out of my collection. I've been really doing good with my pr primers this year. Then we have my RMS Uncover Concealer, Uncover Up Concealer in 11.5. This is one of the few makeup repurchases that I've had this year. I'm on a low buy when it comes to makeup this year and um, but I did decide to purchase this one and I really do enjoy it. I first apply a corrector and then I apply this one and then I do another brightening concealer more with a little bit more coverage also. I, yeah. But um, lately I've been using it this with a brush. I think it also works nice with a finger but I do think I prefer it with a brush although the actual product becomes so gross because any like dust, any hair, anything that the brush might have, it collects into the products. So I'm gonna show you. So I'm sorry about that, but that's just the reality here. So I haven't been able to hit pan just yet, but I think I'm coming closer. I only use the smallest amount with this one. So I'm imagining it'll take me a little while, but I've been using it consistently for seven months now, so I think we're close. Then we have the Milani Luminoso blush that I decided to include in here as well. I knew it was a lot with this many blushes to work on, but my goal was to reach for this 30 times. I so far have it reached for this 11 times, which I'm happy about. I mean, I've, I have a lot of blushes to work on and I use my lipsticks as blushes as well. So, but I really like this in this, in the summertime. So I'm glad I have included it. Oh my gosh, my voice. Then we have my bronzer from Model Co that I wanted to hit pan on, which I have. I'm really excited about that. This is what this one looks like now. It wasn't super hard because I have had this for a long time and it's I've really worked on it and you know made it thinner if you know what I mean so it wasn't too hard to hit paint on it but I only use the smallest amount with this one too because it's really really too dark for me as a bronzer but if I just use a little bit like I have today I feel like it just helps me to warm up my face and I can make it work but it's not my ideal color. But I think the tone is right. I think so. So it works if I'm really careful. But yeah, I'm gonna put this back now. I'm really happy I managed to hit pan on this one. Another one I've reached my goal on is the Anastasia Dewy Set Setting Spray. So I was here last time and now it is all empty. So happy about that. I liked it. It wasn't it wasn't too bad. Nothing bad to say about this, but um I don't know. I don't know if I will repurchase. I was left with just one setting spray after this one. And I have used I've gone through many setting sprays this year and that's one of my favorite makeup products. It just really helps my dry skin. Uh, before and after I've applied makeup and also like as a part of my skincare routine actually it depends on the setting spray but yeah so I yeah like I said I was only left with one setting spray and I uh, felt like that was not I was curious to try a little bit more so I repurchased the same that I have the same one that I have and two more so I'm really excited about that I don't think I'm gonna include another setting spray just yet because I just want to um, joggle a little bit between those three for a little while but maybe later this year I will we'll see but 
I'm done with this one, so I'm happy about that. Then we have my NYX Azure eyeliner. This is my oldest eyeliner. I usually randomly pick my eyeliner to include in my project pan because I have so many eyeliners to work uh, with. But this time around, I decided to include this purposely because it's a nice color to have in the summertime. I really think it looks great with like bronzy, gold eyeshadows. I set a goal of using this 30 times. So far I've used it 19 times, which I'm happy about. I'm just going to continue to use it. I have enjoyed using it. Yeah, we'll see. Let me just um, mark it. So there we have my marking for today. This was last time. Then we have my Model Code Lip Liner, which has been in this project pan since January. I I do enjoy this, but I, it's not something I grab for on an everyday basis. It's just dark enough for me not to do that, but I really enjoy the color. It's not like my favorite lip liner shade, and I think it looks really nice on the lips. So this is my progress right here. Then we have my Isadora Twist Up Glossy Stick in Think Pink. Um, I use this a lot before we went on holidays. I have not used it at all since, but I did, I did make pretty good progress. This is what it looks like. And this is the progress. So those were all of my products. I am going to be rolling in two new items this time and I'm almost laughing a little bit at myself for one of the items because it's just, oh gosh, the, you have to just take this with a smile. But the reason, so I, I decided to bring in another perfumey product after my sample. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Chirosa 71. Um, I, I really like this. Um, this is like a body mist sort of hair and body fragrance mist. So I do enjoy this, but it is just on the brim of being too much for me like too sweet too heavy like too too much it's a little bit headachey but once it settles like after like two three hours i really enjoy it it's really nice but for the first like hour or two it's not it's just it's just a little bit too much <laughs> So I decided this is my progress, like this is how much I have used so far and I want to, my goal, I want my goal to, to come halfway down the bottle. That's going to be my goal. I think that's going to be a little bit difficult, but I thought this was the best timing because I can't smell anything like nothing usually when I do like this and smell it I feel like it's just too much now I can barely like smell something sweet but that's it so I thought if I'm as long as I'm careful so like the environment doesn't faint I think this is going to be a great time to include this into a project pan because that way I can still smell a little bit of sweetness but just not that overwhelmingly sweet scent that I normally get from this so I thought that was a pretty smart decision <laughs> hopefully I can um, reach my goal on this one and then also I wanted to include another primer, but because I've been really focusing on my primers this year, I've been going through many, even though they were like sample size, travel size, smaller sized uh, primers, I still managed to go through them, so I'm happy about that, but I still want to continue to work on my primers, but I'm just not... 
um, I don't want to be too dedicated, especially not in the summer, because in the summertime I just want to do things as simple as possible. So, I thought I would include this Make the Make Niacinamide Soft Focus Primer, which is supposed to be blurring and smoothing on the skin. This is what it looks like. Um, it is very interesting. I don't know if you can tell, but it has sort of a purpley shine to it. And it is very, maybe you can see it better here. It is, it is purpley. I'm, I'm not sure the, why, the, like the reason behind that. It feels really nice to the skin. It's very like glowy and nice, but I haven't really given this a chance. And it's not like I'm gonna use it up or anything like that because this is pretty much full. And it is 30 milliliters, so it's like a full-sized product. But, um, and I feel like using, setting a goal of 30 times like a month use of this is also way too much at this moment so I think I'm gonna be like nice to myself and set a goal of 15 uses with this one so yeah that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna experiment a little bit and figure out if I actually even like this product because I at this point I can't even tell I've probably used this a handful of times so far like sporadically throughout over the years and I've had this primer for about probably like two three years now hold on I have it written down I've had it since March of 2021 so yeah it's getting older so I need to really figure out if I like it or not and if I like it I want to try to pan it very soon I think but, um, yeah, so that's that. 15 uses for this one, and I think that is it. Thank you so much for watching this uh, all-over-the-place update of a Project Pan update video. But um, I really wanted to connect with you guys again and um, put out a video, basically. So I hope you bear it with me and my voice, and I... And I hope to see you again very soon. Have a nice day. Bye.